Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so this is the seventh part of our Flutter tutorial for beginners. In our last video tutorial, that is sixth part, we have discussed on different kinds of buttons that is been used in Flutter app development. Okay, so in this tutorial, we will make use of one button that is raised button, and we will learn how to uh, customize it. Okay, so here we will give a button shape, button border radius, and we will give a gradient effect to a button and etc. So let's begin. So I will just create a raised button over here and implement the required property that is on pressed. Okay. And I will just give a child. A child inside we can give a text to a button. Click me. Okay, so I will just restart. The button will be created as you can see over here. This is the button. This is the normal button without any decoration, without any this. Okay. Uh, so here, if you want to give a shape to this button, what you can do is. Uh, you can just go to this uh, button properties so you can customize it as per your needs okay so there is a button shape property as you can see over here that we can use to give a particular shape to, to this button shape uh, we can give a radius rounded round radius rounded rectangle radius okay so here there is a property that is border radius okay so border radius dot uh, circular we can give a radius of 30 dp okay i will just restart okay so if you can see there is a border radius on each corner of this button Okay, so I will just uh, change the color of this button so it can be visible for you. Dot blue. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, this is the border radius. Okay, then if you want to give a gradient effect to this uh, button. You can make use of gradient uh, property for a widget. Okay, so for that, first of all, instead of this normal text, inside this we will make use of ink uh, widget. Uh, so this uh, ink widget is been used if you want to decorate a image or if you want to decorate a button or anything. So here you can make use of decoration property box decoration in box decoration there are various properties uh, for this video tutorial i will give just give a gradient effect to our button so for that we will make use of gradient gradient linear gradient effect okay so it has a property that is colors it is of type list okay so here um, you can give a color to this to give a color you can make use of this format color 0xff okay so i will just open a browser to pick a color HTML colors okay. okay so I will just pick one color from here as code and I will just paste it over here and one more I need I will give it as something pink type 
okay so this gradient has two colors that is blue and pink and then we also need to state from where uh, the gradient effects to should start and from where the second colors to should start for that we, there is a property that is begin align meant dot center left and end with alignment of center right okay so if i run this that will this effect will not uh, been applied you can check okay so i have restarted the app but there is no effect in this so to give this effect gradient effect uh, this pink uh, widget should have a child so after this box decoration you may need to give a child child a uh, child we can give a simple text widget click me okay so now if i run So you can see a gradient effect has been applied to only this text, but the button is it is not applied to a button. Uh, so for that, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to wrap this uh, text widget to a container. So just and hold Alt and enter over here. Wrap with widget, enter container okay so for this container we need to give a specific width and height so we can give it by constraint box con constraint okay so in box con constraint there is a maximum width so maximum width we can give as 200 and and height we can give it as 50 and then we also need to align this uh, container to a center and dot center okay so i will just restart now let me check if it is get applied or no okay so as you can see uh, the design has been applied to this uh, text with a constraint of container Okay, so this container is in box shape, so it is showing a square above uh, above the button. So if you want to give this, uh, you also need to give a radius to this uh, ink uh, widget. So for that, border radius here after somewhere over here. Don't think so. Yeah, after this uh, linear. Uh, border radius border radius dot circular we can give a radius to it okay so this is the this has been applied to this uh, ink uh, widget okay okay so if you can see over here there is an extra padding at the bottom as you can see on web 10 right there is the extra padding so it is the default padding of this uh, raised button so if you don't want this padding uh, simply you can do is you can give a padding as in set doll dot all from all the sides you can set the padding as zero so before that i will show you okay so it is not work it is getting installed it's okay i will just restart so after giving the padding 
you can see there is no extra padding to this button it is perfect to be uh, got fitted in this gradient effect okay and uh, if you don't want radius in all the sides of this button so simply in this uh, rounded rectangular border in simply giving radius to all the sides what you can do is you can make use of this property that is only a, and here uh, top if you want to give on a there are there are various properties that is bottom left you want to give a radius top if you want to give a radius top radius dot circular you can give as 20 something okay so i will just restart okay so as you can see uh, this uh, top has a radius of 20 but other there is no radius okay so you can give bottom radius from bottom right i will give radius dot circular 20 okay so app got installed okay so i have give a bottom bottom right radius so as you can see over here there is a bottom radius of 10 20 dp okay so like this you can uh, customize your button button you can give design you can set background and you can customize as per your needs okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept of how to give radius to your button you can give gradient okay so thanks for watching this video tutorial uh, please do subscribe protocol as point